What is going on guys? Welcome to this Python tutorial series for intermediates. In today's episode we're going to talk about logging and logging is a very important topic when it comes to programming because every system and of course the larger it is the more it produces but every system produces a lot of messages and a lot of states, a lot of information, a lot of errors, a lot of conditions and these need to somehow be stored somewhere because if I have a system that's crashing I need an administrator or someone who knows what he's doing uh, to look at that system. Sometimes I make backups and I want to lock when a backup was, make, uh, was made. Uh, sometimes I have uh, some condition that requires a warning. We need to know, uh, hey, something might happen, you're running low on space, anything like that. Uh, and these things make logging necessary because logging helps us to find problems, to avoid problems and also to understand problems. When something crashed, we want to know why it crashed. When something uh, does not work that way, uh, the way we expected it to work, we want to know why it doesn't work that way. Uh, also, we want to know how we can prevent things in future. We want to know where is an error coming from? Why isn't this working? So logging is very important when it comes to systems, to computer systems especially. Nowadays, everything gets logged. For example, you have bank transactions, you have flights, you have network activities, operating system activities. Everything gets logged for that reason, because it's important. Now, up until now, what we've done in Python is we've basically printed all of our messages out onto the screen, or maybe we created a file with some text, but we didn't really do any logging. The problem is, of course, the larger systems get, the more confusing this approach becomes, because you cannot always print something out onto the screen, like connected here and made a backup here, you got a new email, this is failing, this is crashing. It becomes too much, and also not every message is equally important. But the print statement uh, treats every message as equally important. You just get a message, and that's it. Um, so sometimes we need to have critical messages like a system is crashing, or just informational messages like you made a backup right now. Uh, and this is what we need logging for. We have different security levels. We have different uh, priorities here, different importance of messages and in this video we're going to learn how to lock with Python, how this is done, so let us get into the code. Now before we get into logging and into creating our loggers, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the five security levels that we have when it comes to logging. And these five security levels are debug, info, warning, error and critical. So these are the five levels. Debug is basically used of course, when you're debugging, when you're testing, when you're playing around, when you're troubleshooting, uh, it's basically for developers that want to know what happens at a certain uh, piece in the code or, or at a certain place in the code. For example, I want to know what's the value of X or what's the value of the name right now or do you reach that point? Uh, lock something when you reach that point. Give me the time. How often do you reach that point in the code? So it's basically just for developers to debug, to troubleshoot, to test, to play around. Uh, nothing important, nothing that interests the end consumer. Now, info is all about informational messages. Things like uh, made two backups right now, or 17 users online right now, or you've got five new mails. These are all informational messages. They don't require any attention. They're just like, just know that you have 17 mails. Maybe you, you're interested in that, maybe you're not. Uh, know how many users are online. We're printing that information, but it's not really something important for you. Maybe. Uh, so warning would be then something that indicates that not uh, nothing bad happened yet. The systems didn't crash. You didn't get any errors. Nothing happened. But it's warning you that something might happen if you don't do something. For example, a classic warning message would be you're running low on space, or you only have 200 megabytes of RAM left. Nothing bad happened yet, it's not a problem yet, but if it continues like that, you will have some problems. So you better do something about it. This is the warning level. Now an error would be a classical exception. If you get an error somewhere in your code that's not critical, uh, this would be a error level. So uh, couldn't do that calculation because of X, Y, Z, or got that error, got that exception because of X, Y, Z. This would be error level. It's important, we need to do something about it, but our system is more or less running, it's not crashed. Now critical is when a crucial component, when an essential part of your system breaks down, something that requires attention right now because your whole system is dead or something really critical is going to happen. 
for example, a server is down, the power supply is down, or anything like that would be a critical message. So these are the five uh, security levels when it comes to logging. Now, in order to work with logging in Python, we need to import the logging module. And when we do that, we have two ways to start logging in Python. We can either use the default root logger, which is already uh, more or less set up and created, or we can create our own logger with our own name, our own settings and all that, uh, and log with this one. We're going to do both, but we're going to start with the default root logger. So what we do here is just saying logging dot and now we can specify a security level. For example, I can say logging.info and this would print a message on the informational level. So I could say you have got 20 mails in your inbox. This would be a classical info message. And of course, I can also say logging.critical all components failed. This would be a very bad message to see on your system, of course, and you'll notice though that it only prints the critical message. So here you can always see, uh, always see the uh, security level critical in this case, then the logger that we're using, in this case, the root logger, the default logger, and then you see the message itself, the logging message itself. And you can see that the info message was not visible to us. Now, why is that? Uh, this is because Python has the default uh, security level of warning. And security levels work in uh, the following way. If you have a security level debug, you have the lowest level and you see all of them. You see all the messages. Because if you want to see the debug messages, you also want to see the info messages, the warning messages, the error messages, and the critical messages. If you have the critical security level, you only see the critical message because it's the highest security level. Um, if you have warning, you see warning, error, and critical. So it's building on top of each other. You don't see the info message. Uh, so if I change this to warning right now, you'll see that we're going to be able to see it. As you can see, warning gets printed because our security level is warning and we don't get the info, uh, the info loggings here. So to change that, what I can do is I can say config and here specify a level. So I say logging dot, uh, dot basic config level equals, and now I can specify a level. I can say if I want to see all the messages, uh, logging dot debug. So this would be like that, all uppercase. The debug is all uppercase. Um, or I could just say um, critical, because if I say critical, I won't be even, even able to see the warning messages. I only see the critical messages. Uh, but what I want to do is I want to get to an info level here. So I'm um, basically changing this back to info. And you can see that it prints also the informational messages. Now, this would be one way to log in Python. Another way would be to create your own logger. So I can go ahead and say uh, logger equals logging dot get logger. And here I can specify a name for my logger. So instead of root, I can now say neural nine logger, for example, if the, this is the name that I want to give him. And then I can use my logger for logging. So I can say logger.info, uh, the best logger was just created. That's it. Or I can say logger.critical your YouTube channel was deleted. This would be a quite a bad message for me. So as you can see, I get info neural nine logger, the best logger was just created and then critical neural nine logger, your YouTube channel was deleted. So this would be then my logger that I just created right now. Now another way or another uh, method that I can use for logging is the lock method. So I can say logger.lock. And here I specify the security level uh, in the parentheses as a parameter. So I can say logging dot, uh, I don't know, error. And then I specify the message and error occurred. And it's the same as just saying logger.error. As you can see, the, the output is the same. So this is how you can basically work with logging in Python.
Now, of course, as a system administrator, I'm not going to sit in front of my screen all the time and look at the log. So I'm not interested in a screen full of logging messages. What I really want is I want log files because when a system crashes, I want to look at the log files and see what happened. I want to have files from the past that tell me what happened in my system. So logging is really important or logging into files is actually essential to logging. Uh, and to log into files in Python, I have to create a file handler. So what I do is I say handler equals logging dot file handler. And then I specify a name, for example, my log dot log. This is the file name, uh, which I'm going to log into. And now I can do the following thing. I can set this one here, for example, to debug. So I want to have all the messages printed out. And I'm also going to set my logger set level to logging dot debug but my handler if i get into my handler set level here i want to have the logging level of uh, info so i don't want to log into files all the debug messages the debug messages are important right now but i only want to have information uh, or warnings errors or critical messages in my files now when i have this I have to say logger dot um, add handler and add the handler, of course. So logger dot add handler handler. And now I say logger dot debug. This is a debug message. And then logger dot info. This is important information. And of course, we can also delete all of these logs here. So I'm going to run the module. Logger is not defined. Okay, I think I deleted too much. Uh, of course, I don't want to delete all of it. So now when I run this, you can see I get both messages. I get the debug message. This is a debug message and I get this is an important information. But when I look at the log created right now, I can see that it only has the message. This is an important information and not the debug message because it's not the security level of the handler. Now, one thing that you're going to notice when we open up our log file is that we have no structure here. Because when I run my script here, um, you'll see that I have the security level, then I have the logger name, then I have the message. So I have a certain format. Uh, but the file handler that I created does not have a format. It just prints uh, the text into the log file. It just prints the message, the pure message. Now, if I want to change that, I can define or I can create a so-called formatter. So I just say formatter equals logging dot formatter. And in this formatter, when I create it, I have to specify a string with the desired format. And in this string, I use certain keywords um, very specific keywords that I have to use in order to uh, to get certain informations in my string. So what I do is I use a percentage sign, parentheses, and in these parentheses I have to specify a keyword um, for the value I want. For example, the first thing that I want in my message is the security level. I want to know is this an info message, a debug message, or what is it? So I'm going to say level name. This is the keyword here. You cannot choose this. This is this is level name. Um, and I'm going to put an S here because I have to put an S here to make it work. So this is the first keyword here, level name, in parentheses, percentage sign, and an S here. And then I'm going to use a dash and say the next thing that I want is a timestamp. So this time we're not going to print the name of the logger we're going to print a timestamp. I want to know when was this locked. And then I'm going to say percentage ASC time. This is the keyword for the timestamp, uh, followed by an S again. And then I'm going to use a colon. And here I'm going to put the message. Now, the next thing, of course, I have to add this first. I'm going to say handler dot set formatter formatter. So now I assign this formatter with this format here to the handler. So every time when the handler does something, so every time when we lock, the handler gets called because the handler was added to the logger. And every time the handler locks, we're going to use that format. So when I run this, 
you'll see the default or the old format because this is the format of our logger. But when I look into the file, you see info, then the timestamp, and then the message. So this is how you format your logging messages in Python. So that's basically it. You now know why logging is important. You know what the security levers are. You know how to create a logger in Python, how to create a formatter, a file handler in Python. You know how to basically log files with your scripts and programs. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, if you learned something. Subscribe to this channel if you want to see more. And uh, feel free to ask questions and give feedback in the comment section down below. So thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video and bye. Thank you.